Most people who make content, especially in training, have a hard time releasing the content that they create. You know, you're struggling to make sure it's perfect. You just want to do one more once over, you know, maybe change up that video, add one more quiz or, or interaction. And we just keep doing it again and again and editing and editing. And all the while, no one is giving us feedback on this content. And the people out there who need the content aren't getting it. And I think that's a big problem. We need to be releasing content faster and so that we can deliver to our audiences what they really need, which is good knowledge and good training. And so what I wanna talk about today is three things that I think the training community can learn from the social creator community. You know, things like YouTube and TikTok. If this is your first time on the channel, my name's Matt Jertson. I'm the founder and chief learning officer of Better Everyday Studios, a consulting company that focuses on helping organizations get more impact out of their training in less time. So let's dive into it. The first thing training teams can learn from social content creators is the concept of repackaging. Gary Vaynerchuk is a perfect example of this. Better known as Gary V, he's the head of VaynerMedia, which is an incredibly successful media agency, and they put out hundreds of pieces of content per day. How do they do it? By repackaging. They take something long form, like a podcast that was recorded and is an hour long, and they certainly release that podcast as a standalone long form piece of content, but they also break it up and do dozens of other pieces of content. They'll get great quotes and put it with a picture for Instagram, or they'll cut up just small snippets of it and put them on TikTok or YouTube. That's the way you can take just that one piece of content and make sure you're getting way more content out of it, potentially dozens of pieces. Now, that doesn't always make sense for learning teams. I'm not saying that we need to make you know hundreds of courses a month and just flood the market the way a lot of social creators do, but we can still learn the idea of taking something that's much bigger and breaking it up into smaller chunks. You know, if you have a two hour long live facilitated session, then maybe just take some bits of that and turn it into pieces of, into different micro courses that focus on just one of the takeaways. It's not meant to replace that two hour session. Maybe it's pre-work or post-work. The point is you don't have to go create something completely else from scratch. You can use the content that you already have and repackage it into something different that makes it this new thing that is potentially a lot easier for people to consume. The second thing we need to learn is the importance and possibilities for low fidelity content. There are extremely popular social creators out there who do all of their filming just on the built-in webcam of their computer. Very often, when we're thinking about making courses, we want to make things in, in 4K or use 360 cameras or use just the latest and greatest technology, but that often isn't needed. People will accept a little bit lower quality video or a little bit lower quality sound if you instead focus on the message that you're trying to get across, the impact that you're trying to have, or the speed at which you are delivering your content. If you can sacrifice some of the high fidelity stuff in order to make it more impactful by delivering on those other elements. And it doesn't mean it's you know bad fidelity, it's not bad content, but the point is everyone's phone now has cameras that are better than the best cameras five to 10 years ago. So why not just do the simple thing? Use the basic everyday stuff that we have at our disposal and stop spending a lot of energy trying to get that last couple percent of production quality and instead put the focus on making sure we're teaching things that are actually impactful and delivering it at speed to the business. The final lesson training teams need to learn from social creators is the concept of brevity. And this is incredibly important. Basically, the entire population is being trained to get things quickly. Our brains are moving faster. Have you ever watched a movie from 10 or 15 years ago? Doesn't it just seem slow? Like we need to get to the point a lot faster. In fact, people on YouTube nowadays, they are completely getting rid of intro reels. You know, it used to be where there'd maybe be a 30 second intro of saying like, hey, this is what we're doing. And then they'd have kind of like a long title scene that might take 10 to 15 seconds. That 10 to 15 seconds is just a waste of time and people are getting rid of it. So they're getting to the point. And this is exactly what we need to do in any content that we create. 
Stop having long opening sequences to the courses that don't actually add anything. You need to get right to the point. Tell people what they're going to learn, what the impact is, and then get to the content. Get teaching as fast as possible because that's what people are expecting. So that might mean doing a lot of traditional video editing, you know, doing jump cuts, making things a little bit tighter, getting rid of not just the dead air, but getting rid of any extraneous information that doesn't need to be in the course to make sure it's impactful. The faster we can get our points across, the more likely people are actually going to consume those points and bring them into their day to day. So if we get rid of all the extraneous stuff and focus on the brevity of our message, we're really gonna go a lot farther. So there really is a lot that I think training teams can learn by looking at social media creators and seeing you know the kinds of content that they're putting out that's what a lot of you know our learners are consuming nowadays most people a lot of people are on social media whether it's TikTok Instagram YouTube this is how they're consuming content in their daily lives and so they should expect to see that kind of content from us. So I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and I hope to see you again next time. Thank you.